Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Fed, where I am playing Dark Souls Authority, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we did, um, I think the Dragon Slayer Armor and Champion Gundir. Off camera I decided to go and grind for a couple of weapons, in the form of the Gargoyle Flame Spear, the Soldering Iron, and the Tailbone Spear. Uh, this one is dropped from Gargoyles using the Flame Spear. Soldering Iron, iron is dropped from Jailers in Earthfield Dungeon, and then you have the Tailbone Spear, which was dropped from... The failed prisoners, which are like the baby creatures using their weapons. The special thing with this one is that you have this attack over here. Oh, well, I would, <laughs> I'd like to show it off, but <laughs> I didn't have any FP anymore. Okay, that's like a wind effect going for it. I think you can blow enemies away with this. Let's see. Thrust the spear to unleash the strength of dragon, similar to an ancient dragon weapon, only with its power tragically faded. So it just knocks enemies back and probably does damage. Um, the thing is, this thing requires me to use Titanite Scales to upgrade it. I decided to put most of my Titanite Scales into the Arster Spear, which is because I feel like it's actually a, a pretty decent weapon. It's not amazing, but it's decent. Like, it does less damage than the Gargo Flame Spear and then the Partisan, but I think it is fine. None of these weapons, like the Soldering Iron, Gargo Flame Spear, or the Tailbone Spear, can be infused. I did upgrade them to level plus six, at least. The normal weapons. This one, like I said before, required me to use other things which I didn't want to use. Um, what am I gonna... This does standard damage, not thrusting damage. That's interesting. I'm gonna run one through this thing first. Uh, the special thing about this guy is that you can uh, press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Estus healing. Fire is pretty dang good in uh, the Grand Archive, so I'm just gonna be you using this thing. To begin with, in any case, if I feel like it's not amazing, which I think it is, because <laughs> it isn't amazing, the blocking Estus might be handy, but nah, doesn't really have a lot of range. It don't. It does mainly fire damage. I want to take a look at the scaling. Actually, I haven't taken a look at that. I think that the tailbone spear would also be pretty dang decent. I think, but once again, tight nice scales. <laughs> they are pretty dang expensive to buy and. Well, I guess later in the game there's a lot of them, but nah. It scales the most with dexterity. Its fire damage does not scale. It looks very weird to run around to this thing. I also, I've never used the soldering iron before, by the way. I've also never used the Gargoyle Flame Sphere, but I'm actually quite a big fan of the Gargoyle Flame Sphere. So once I get enough Titanite chunks, I'm probably going to be upgrading that weapon. Because I, I really like it. Alright. Alright, you. You! Ow. I pressed the button, but I was too late. Well. Can you do that again, please? There we go. Let's see. <laughs> oh, look at the divers! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Your Estus healing will now be blocked, bitch. Alright. As you can quite clearly see, it ain't amazing. <laughs> it's also only plus 6 compared to my plus 10 weapon. Which is my, uh, like, my personal plus 10 weapon. Let me go and get my thing out. My shield! I'm gonna get behind you. And stab you in the arsenal. Yes, managed to get this freaking piece of soldering iron through your butt. It's a good weapon to use against enemies that are weak to fire. Like, that's just a fact. But, yeah. Standard damage is still the best damage there. I would definitely say. Oh, fire mark. Some enemies do still get stunned from fire damage there. But I think that at that point you can also just use the Gargo Flame Spear. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, switch over to the Flame Spear. Ow, you piece of shit. As you can quite clearly see, <laughs> it just does a lot more physical damage. Like, only elemental damage is only good in, in spells, I would say. Like, magic damage purely is only good in spells. Because your spells are just really powerful, usually. 
Well, how much scaling does this thing do? I think like raw fire damage just isn't that good in general. But as you can see, this weapon has some pretty, some pretty good stuff going for it. And it's only plus six. So I think if I get the chance, I'm definitely going to upgrade this weapon to... Uh... No, 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 no. God fucking... It's not a good weapon to use against... Um... Against Titan at lasers there. Okay. Lost some twinkling Titanite, but yeah. Well, that ain't the end of the world. Ah. I was about to say, like, this is the issue with the... With this weapon, but I was like, oh wait. This is just the issue with spears in general. Wouldn't really say that spears are amazing, but yeah. So, uh, I'm not gonna be using the tailbone spear. Because it's just gonna be ridiculously weak. So I think I'll run around with my partisan and see what I can do with this weapon. Because there is still uh, a crystal sage that needs to die. I'm gonna roll all the way from that. Because that is going to do some amount of damage to me. Which I am not willing to take. Or which I would like to avoid taking if I can. Alright. Hey you bitch. Son of a bitch. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Stabbed in your guts. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Doing a lot of damage. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Because I do actually have a weapon that does a lot of damage. Doop -doop -a -doop. <laughs> there we go. Must have the crystals grow. Water scroll. Still love saying that. Right, we go this way so I can get the flamberge dude. To move his arsenal over into this direction. Wow, two shot. Nice. You little bitch. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. See you later. <laughs> there you go. This weapon for the time being is still the best. I will say, like, usually, except if you're doing a uh, a hybrid build with magic and all that jazz, usually, or like, actually, nah, let me scratch that. In general, standard damage or just, like, normal physical damage is the best. Especially standard damage, though. I've noticed that that's just the best. In this entire game. Elemental damage can be useful in certain situations, but... Usually, it is not really worth it, I would say. Because you also have enemies that resist it, and... I, f I feel like there's a lot of enemies that resist a lot of... Uh, a lot of elemental damage. While, sta while your standard damage, or your physical damage... Sure, you... Like, the enemies do have some physical defense, but it's not gonna be... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think I've had much luck with magic classes in general. I will say um, the... Uh, what's it called again? I will say, if you're going to use magic in this game, you can use whatever the hell you want to. Like, it can be good. It's not horrendous. But the best magic is still just normal magic. Like, uh, normal sorceries. Paramancy and miracles can be useful in their own right. But usually... Like, if you're looking for some, for a magic type that just does a lot of damage, I would say that sorceries are the best. Because of Crystal Soul Spear, you can aim it from really far away, and it doesn't matter crap load of damage. <laughs> if you have a lot of intelligence. Hello, Gary Girlfriend! Using a hammer, eh? Wow, managed to hit me in the face. Guess I kind of deserve that. Can I kick you? Yes, I can. <laughs> then I will roll out of the way because fuck you. Okay. Eyo. Keep on thinking that that's the sound that they make. Like, Eyo. which they kind of did. Another thing that I might want to add 
it's not really gonna change too much, but this is and this is a new session right now, so bear with me, maybe, depending on that. <laughs> Just thought I'd mention it. New recording session. Usually equals not amazing commentary. Or just like me having to get used to talking. God damn it. There we go. There are some gems up there, but I don't... Yeah, I'm just not gonna care too much about it. If I really want some more gems, I can... I know some enemies where I can farm them from, so... I'm not gonna go over there. Because it's annoying to go over there. Because <laughs> I don't remember which uh, which crystal lizard drops what type of gem. And there's also a gargoyle that falls down. I could technically run away from him, yes. But, meh. I'm also a little bit too lazy to do that stuff. <laughs> just feels a little bit It just feels a little bit like a waste of time. Hello, let me go and stab you before you hit me with wax. Oh, there we go. You are dead. Dead, 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 dead. Alright. Time to go and deal with... Everybody's favorite brigade. The Gangu Bangu. Alright, we're gonna charge up. Wow, uh, poise. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Managed to survive it. Quite surprisingly. I'm rolling, but I guess it's not good enough. Nice. I am missing a tiny amount of damage. No, 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 no. Kill the man. Kill him. He's gonna heal. I'm rolling. I am rolling. <laughs> Die. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Healing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Let me go maybe get out my parachute. That doesn't work. I should not parry this guy, I should just fucking kill him. Poison air, is it? Fucking die. You also gotta love that like infinite freaking FP that this bitch has. Get the shield. Ow. You see this? This is this is this. The thing you're seeing right now is a computer watch, like looking for a way to parry me. And the only way it can attack her is when she's casting a spell. Because otherwise she's gonna parry you. Except if you're using a move that you cannot parry. There we go. Quite surprised that I managed to survive that. <laughs> I did not think I was going to survive that. There we go. Let me go and send down this elevator, which is the one at the beginning of the archives. I don't think I'm going to be getting the Titanite Slavots up there. Like up here. Wait, those guys, do they have a chance of dropping chunks, maybe? Hmm. I only have two S's though. It's going to be a little bit dangerous. And I'm also not in the mood for fighting him, so fuck it. How much chunks are left right now? Seven. Uh, yeah. How many do I need actually? I think I need like 12 to be able to... To upgrade something. Or like to uh, upgrade something from a certain Titanite tier. Because you need six for the final one, then four, and then two for the beginning. Yep, yeah, 12. Oh, I need 12 of them. Very then take. Take what is rightfully yours. Swing the blade to your heart's content. 
I love, uh, I love Zanza from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> I just love that game in general. Like, it's as simple as that. Sometimes it's it's as simple as that. I just love that game. All right. Uh, where is the flame spear? There we go. Yeah, fuck it. I'm definitely gonna upgrade this one. Oh wait, there's also the Lothric Long Sphere. Hmm. Well, nah. I'm gonna go for the Flame Spear actually. <laughs> Long Spear, sad face. All right. There we go. Cool. The thing is, like, I would definitely like to have some faster attacking. Because I feel like the pikes, they're not bad, but they're... They're not amazing either. But I feel like spears in general <laughs> are fine, but not amazing. <laughs> I would not go out of my way to use a spear. Except if you want to use like one of those gimmick spears. Also, I should have used my Estus thing. That's actually one of the biggest reasons why I went back. Oh well, I forgot about it and here we are now. I'm gonna send down the elevator because I feel like I'm gonna die. When I'm fighting those Lothric Knights, hmm, there's a pretty high probability of me dying. I also forgot to grab the Hornet Ring. Well... It's probably not going to be a disaster, but why are you like this? There's another dude coming to get me. I pressed the block button, but I guess it, the game decided to prioritize attack over defense. I pressed the button, so like, I pressed the attack button at, like just about the same time or something in the game. It's like, ah, no, you're gonna, you're gonna attack. <laughs> Hello, buddy. And goodbye. And we have these dudes over here. Wow. Counter damage, nice. Go walk this way. Walk this way. And slash these fools. Let me go wait for the Lothric Knight to come over here and do his attack. And then I fuck it up. I don't fucked up now. Yeah. There we go. Stabbed in the gut. Or the groin. Oh. And goodbye. <laughs> Alright, friends. What you gonna do? Ah oh yes, the ultimate combat over here. Shield using... I'm sorry, spear using shield dudes against shield using uh, spear woman. Ultimate battle. Top 10 anime battles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Get that shield out of here and goodbye. I feel like I want to go and grab the Hornet Ring. And then replace the Hornet Ring with the Leo Ring. Oh well. Hey you. What are you going to do now, eh? You're going to buff your weapon. Come on. Okay, I failed. And this is where everything goes to shit. <laughs> he just starts running over to me. And then the other one starts running over to me. Come on, buddy. This is not a good situation. <laughs> Waiting for one of them to... to use an attack that I can parry. Ow. I guess I used a lot of attacks that I could parry, but I just suck at parrying sh uh, spears. <laughs> shields. <laughs> yeah, parrying shields would be quite difficult to do. Okay. Let me go in. There it is. 
Get a load of this. I'm not sure how parrying... I think if they two-hand a Ultra Greatsword, I'm not going to be able to parry it. That's the way that it works in normal PvP, I think. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Wow. <laughs> well, that went a lot easier than I expected it would go. And I was just uh, that dude over there. Hello, friend. Well, I wanted to kick, but I failed. Get your shield out of here, buddy. My nuts! Oi, my nuts! Ah. <laughs> Thought I would kill you with a strong attack, like a fully charged strong attack, but I guess the spears just suck in damage. <laughs> Let's go and send this boy down it. And let's go and see how we're gonna fare against uh Huh. I guess we're just gonna go and see how we fare against <laughs> Against uh the twin princess. How many chunks do I have right now? Three, okay. I need three more. Will need. I could use three more. Oh boy. Oh, yep. Perfect roll. Oh, yep. Missing me by a hair. Step. <laughs> a little poke in the ass. Perfect. Yep. Another attack. I actually quite like the rolling attack from the spear, but it's not amazing though. Like it's not um, it's not like useless like it is with a certain other weapon type, which I'm not gonna name right now. Actually, there's a I would say there's a lot of weapons that have bad roll attacks. We'll just see. It's not horrendous, but I also don't like using it too much. Stabity stab stab. Nice soup. There we go. <sighs> As he grunts pretty um vigorously. <laughs> well yeah, I guess I did kill him. So I suppose that somebody would grunt in a certain way. Not a grunt or scream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that went a little bit too dark for my taste. <laughs> he says this is playing Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm actually not too dark of a guy, if you know what I mean. Like, my humor isn't that dark. Well, like, how do, you, how do I say it? Like, I usually don't like games that go pretty dang dark or depressing or whatever. That's what makes Dark Souls. That's actually another thing. What makes Dark Souls Three my favorite of the franchise? It is because it's so epic. The game is just epic in in its entirety. When you compare it to stuff like Dark Souls Two and Dark Souls One, they feel a, a lot like a lot more sad. Those games. And then you have Bloodborne, which I haven't played, but I've seen. To be quite honest, I've seen like almost the entirety of the game because I'm never gonna buy a PS4, which means that I'll never have Bloodborne. But I don't really like the way that, Blood for, that Bloodborne feels thematically, in any case. Because it's so Lovecraftian, and yeah, that's a little bit too disgusting slash creepy for me. At that point, I'm not really enjoying myself too much. The creepiest thing in Dark Souls 1, I'm oh, sorry, in Dark Souls 3 over here, is Air Still Dungeon, and that's it. The most disgusting thing is are like the maggot monsters or whatever, but really isn't too much insane stuff happening in this one. I think in any case. And even if there was, like, I... Actually, no, I've, I've never felt uncomfortable with Dark Souls. I would say in general, actually. That's one thing that I really liked about it. Okay. And there we go. 40 is usually the cap. 
kind of, depending on how good of a scaling you have with a certain weapon, it tends to be the cap for uh, damage scaling. So now I do 390 damage. When I turn the weapon, I do 399 damage. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go and upgrade my Estus. And I'm also gonna go and grab the uh, the Hornet Ring. I'll teach what? I don't think I can upgrade anything else right now. Like anything of the stuff that I want to upgrade. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty, but. Is that the best you can do? Alright, let's go and. Burn you in a bone shard. Alright, people, I'm gonna go and end off of here off camera. I'm gonna go and grab the. Uh, the Grand Ring. Yes, and the. Hornet Ring. And next episode, we're gonna go and start off with Archdragon Pick. Goodbye.